Hello, so I woke up at 4pm, um, kind of sucks, it's getting worse and worse, but that's alright, I've been up doing stuff all day I guess, making videos and what I usually do, I got this, one of those, you have a parcel, so they weren't able to deliver it to me, um, it's my phone, again, the one that got replaced, so I go and pick it up tomorrow, I have a doctor's appointment too, is it? <laughs> 10 a.m. and it's already quite early in the morning so that kind of sucks might have to cancel on that um and i'm finally i think today or sorry tomorrow gonna make an appointment to get my freaking eyebrows waxed i can't wait to get that done <clears throat> um yeah i read a little bit more of the book that i told you about yesterday a million little pieces and it's pretty incredible i like it a lot um i wish i was reading it more but the internet just takes all my time away that sucks, but at the same time, oh well. I watched a horrible horror movie. It was freaking terrible. I would not recommend it to anyone, so I'm not even going to tell you the name of it. That's how bad it was. Pretty much, it was about an urban myth, and most, if not all, horror movies about urban myths suck ridiculously. So yeah, that wasn't fun to spend my time watching a movie that was shitty, but I was working at the same time, so that's okay. I watched the new episode of The Walking Dead today and I'm not going to tell you what happened because if you do watch it and you haven't seen the new episode yet I might spoil it for you but it was pretty good, um, better than the last episode, it's the second last episode so next week there'll be no more, or well, after next week no more Walking Dead which sucks, um, have to wait another year I guess until it comes back. Yeah, it's crazy. I can't, it's going to be a massive episode. I swear they should just do two hour long um, season endings because an hour or 45 minutes isn't enough to get everything in. Um, what else? can't remember. I'm waiting on the new episode of Arrow. Like I said, I got into it, but I caught up to, you know, what's been shown on TV. The first season actually goes for a lot of episodes. I think there's something like 24 scheduled, 24 episodes a long amount of hours to watch a TV show. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. I watch too much TV, but the way I justify it is that I don't watch it on the TV. I watch it on my computer, so it's not as bad because I'm working while I do it. But in reality, it is as bad. I really should be reading more, but then again, I am reading also, so I can't be too hard on myself. I mean, you've got to do things you enjoy in life, or otherwise you're just gonna hate life I guess I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about at all I'm actually feeling pretty sick at the moment I don't know why got a headache and feeling a bit sick to my stomach so that's horrible but I guess I'll just go to bed and hopefully I feel better when I wake up um and if I don't good thing is I am going to the doctor so I could uh, get that checked out too I actually never go to the doctor um for things like the flu or if I'm just like got a stomach bug or if I'm a little bit ill I only go to the doctor if something's not if something's really wrong if I like if I need a prescription for something or you know never for something tiny I have a really good immune system as well I mean I don't I hardly ever get sick I'm very lucky in that sense even though well I guess having a headache isn't <laughs> having a bad immune system but yeah I get sick on average I would say twice a year and that includes the common cold that includes the flu that includes stomach bugs yeah I guess sick about twice a year so pretty damn lucky um, it's good it's very good whereas Elise is always getting sick she's like always always I feel sick I feel sick I feel sick I can't imagine getting sick that much yeah my mum's like that too as well though she she never gets sick um, I think most of my siblings are too they never get sick well, not that much like I couldn't stand being one of those people that gets like ill at least a few times a month. How do they live? Jeez, that would suck so bad. But yeah, what's the worst sickness I've ever had? I'll try to tell you a story. The worst sickness I've ever had. Wouldn't call it a sickness like you hear of people who get like um, glandular fever and things like that, and that sounds crazy. But. I once had a kidney infection and oh my gosh, that was painful. I was in my final year of school and I had a kidney infection. It was incredibly painful. It hurt so bad. Um, yeah, that's probably like 
the worst sickness, sick kind of thing I've ever had. Like I mentioned in my 25 facts video, I've never spent the night in hospital. Never had to have my tonsils or my appendix out or anything like that. So, dodged some bullets. Never broken a bone either, actually. Wow. Made of steel. No. <laughs> um, it's good though, because yeah. I should probably get private health insurance. I don't know. I'm rambling now, so I'm going to go and hopefully sleep off this headache. I hope you're doing well and I hope you enjoyed. And of course, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.